All right, welcome back everyone. Back at the pond today. Yeah, today's a civic holiday here in Southern Alberta. Well, in all of Alberta actually. And uh, got a couple hours after I did a bit of work in the shop this morning to come out to the pond. So we've been uh, working in the evenings over the past couple of weeks, digging away, transferring clay, and I finally got the dam end of the pond plugged up. And uh, glad we did that. Uh, the water's been rising, water table is uh, reasonably high. So uh, one of the things that uh, we really didn't think about when we had our guest excavator operator in our last video was we just started digging without giving it a whole bunch of thought. And when I was on this side, which is the uh, left side of the pond here in the picture, we, uh, we could reach almost the center. And the idea was that we were going to dig from the center out but uh, we started stripping away the organics on the far side of the pond there and it just got way too wet. But we were left with a little island of mud that we couldn't reach. So the other night, my son gave me some pointers. He's a professional excavator operator for a mining company. And uh, he said, well, why don't you dig a little road down up to water level and you should be able to reach a bit further and that works. So we're gonna do that again today to get that last little bit of island mud out of the way and transfer it over to the dam area. But glad you could join us and we're gonna spend a couple hours on the excavator this afternoon. So this is uh, the dam portion of the pond and this is all clay and rock that I've dug out of the pond. The pond is about, uh, oh, I'm gonna say about three feet deep at, uh, at its deepest. So if it rises anymore, we'll probably have about a four foot or five foot deep pond, which is kind of nice. The dam portion seems to be holding, but uh, because we're pulling it out of wet water, this is still very soggy. Can't walk across it, it'll sink right in. But uh, anyway, uh, we'll let that dry up for a couple of weeks and maybe we can uh, work our way across. But we do have the perimeter of the pond defined, plus or minus. We're going to make it a little bit bigger, but uh, it's holding water, quite happy with that. So to gauge how uh, much the water is rising and, and dropping, we put a little stick in. And right now the water is above where the stick is in the mud. And uh, a little while ago, a couple of days ago, after a bit of digging, it was about three or four inches below that. So we know that the water's rising, which is good. And uh, we've had some wildlife. We've uh, noticed a frog in the pond already. We've had deer come to drink. There's uh, hoof marks in the mud. And uh, so I'm pretty sure once we get this pond done, that it's going to attract a bit of wildlife, which is going to be nice. So to get at that little island of mud in the center, what we have to do is we have to kind of dig away a little bit of a, a road that the excavator will sit in down to about water level or just above it. We don't want to be in the water, obviously, but uh, just above water level. And then we should be able to get the excavator really close to the water's edge and then dig out that island. So that's the plan for today.
our little roadway to the edge of the pond dugout. We're going to sneak the excavator in. Hopefully it's uh, sturdy enough to hold the excavator. And then we'll gingerly dig out that uh, little last piece of island and then move it to the right. And then we'll transfer it over the dam end and into that area at the back there. About as far as I want to go out, I'm sure if my son was driving the excavator he would uh, push the limits and go a bit further out, but I'm still not that confident with the machine. Anyway, we got rid of most of that uh, little island. I might have to come at it from the other side someday, but I think what's happening now is every scoop is kind of just sliding right back into that far corner. So we're going to track back in the dirt that we dug out of that rut, and then we'll see if we can't move some of that clay. temporary roadway for getting the excavator to the edge of the water filled back in and tracked in. The center island of dirt and mud is out and we've uh, pitched it over the end of the dam area and we got to wait for that to dry. That's probably going to take forever. But uh, yeah, I think we've got the makings of a pretty nice pond here. And checking our dipstick, the water level dropped a little bit but not too much. So we'll let it sit for a day or so and see how far it comes up. I think the next part of the project will be dealing with this end of the pond, uh, getting rid of that little hump of dirt there and taking out a few stumps and taking down a few trees and uh, cleaning up all the little stumps and uh, pieces of tree that I cut down. I think that's going to be one of the next steps.
All right, we've got a fair amount of work done in the pond, a couple hours of machine therapy done, and uh, good progress on the pond, but I think that's gonna be it for today. But uh, we're glad that you could join us. We hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, we would love it if you would subscribe, like, and share, and join us again for another video coming soon. Thanks for watching.